Hey YouTube. So, more work on the 6.0 here. Show you what we got. We got a Ford Motorcraft thermostat now. I bought a uh, Mallory one, I think it's called. I don't know, from O'Reilly's. It's still acting goofy. Whenever it's cold, the truck, it will, it will like warm up. So like the temperature will be warming up with the coolant and then the heat inside will start getting warm then you'll watch it on the temp on my like on my edge it'll all of a sudden just start dropping the temperature and then the heat in the cab just starts blowing ice cold and it'll do this for like a long time until the truck's been running for at least probably 45 minutes so i don't know what's up with that i'm gonna try now a ford thermostat i read that it could be that thermostat doing it which is kind of disappointing because i just bought that it's brand new in there but yeah so there's that and then i also got this the fuel filter and water separator which look like this i know there's better ones than the ford factory ones but i was already at ford buying this so i was like screwed I might as well buy that and i'm doing that because for some reason under like if i do like three quarters of throttle it starts breaking up it's like it's not getting enough fuel, basically. So yeah, I don't know what's up with that. I'm also thinking this thing is ice cold, which this is then plumbed into my uh, heater box. My heater box line, which is up there. Which I don't know if it pulls off of that and then goes through this into that. Or if it feeds off of that and runs into it. Either way, I don't know. I'm not an expert on how the coolant lines run on a Ford. That is just, this is what I'm going to try. If not, I think I might insulate this too because this thing is always ice cold. But yeah, so we're going to start that. Oh, I also have one other thing now to do too, which would be something that every 6.0 should have. I got my Edge CTS in here that I'm gonna put over where the uh, SCT tuner is and put that just in my glove boxes. I don't really like that one, I like the Edge better. The tune is still on the truck because I already flashed the truck with it. That was just basically doing what this will be doing now. And this is what I'm also gonna put in. I'm gonna get the uh, A-pillar gauge holder over there myself up some gauges here or a gauge for now i'm gonna get some more later but this is does this say uh this says boost but it's it is a i a, a uh pressure gauge for the coolant system which i have the line right here too uh, the fitting which isn't open but i have the fitting in this package that I'm going to basically probably cut right here and tee into it. And that will tell me the pressure of the cooling system, as you can see, is a little bit, I mean, what 6.0 doesn't have that. So yeah, I'm gonna do that today too. So I'm gonna start on the fuel filter, which the top one, if you guys didn't know, there's two. So I'll let this thing cool down, but the top one is right here. And basically just unscrew that and put the new one in. And then I'm not 100% sure on where this one is, but when I find it, I'll show you. It's down there on the frame and it's not really, it is a fuel filter, but it's more or less a water fuel separator from the research that I've done. So I am gonna get to work on getting this guy in and I will update you on where I'm at. Okay, so I kinda got a little ahead of myself, kinda forgot to, uh, inform you guys but there's see the o-ring around the bottom there's that o-ring down there this filter just pops off this is what it looks like i got the bad one over here well i don't know if it's bad or not it looks kind of dirty i mean it's not awful but it's not great and it's kind of like twisted for some reason i don't know what's up with that but that just clips in down there basically oh there's also like a chunk missing out of it i don't know what's going on with this filter but so that's like that and that just basically pushes down into that cap and it clip clips in there like you can feel it seat in there 
and yeah that just goes right in there and i'll also not today but you guys can't really see in there there right there see where that torx bolt is right behind this air intake i'm gonna do the blue spring upgrade on it here one of these days preferably probably sooner than later which i don't know if that could be causing this issue that's also going on but yeah so i got that oh there's a lot of fuel in there so i got that done i'm gonna put that in and i'll get back to you guys hey youtube so i have skipped ahead a lot without updating you guys on what's going on but here's the old thermostat new ones in they're pretty easy two 10 millimeter bolts right there i did that without even taking anything off it's definitely a lot easier if you take the air intake off over there makes it easier to get the clamp on but so that guy's in new ford one and then just refilled the antifreeze had to go to o'reilly's and get new hose to fit that guy because the blue hose that was on it was way too small so apparently i did not get the right size thing so that's all plumbed back to the filter over here very big way too big for these but it works it's not going anywhere so there's that that i have ran in there's a tiny little hole down there i don't know if you can see that no you can't really see that so this is gonna get zip tied and stuff that still needs to get finished up inside is a disaster right now there's the gauge up there wires there needs to get wired uh fuse box my edge ran that up there but yeah i'm gonna get the thing that goes here to hold them probably just get three and i'll do two more after this but so there's that now i'm gonna try and tackle this fuel separator filter whatever you want to call it and this guy is so you come underneath the frame and right by the drive shaft see the fuel lines coming in right there and then there's a tiny little port you can kind of see that right there that's actually to drain your water so if your water light comes on you can unscrew that and that will drain your water but i am going to try and get this guy off right now and i'll get back to you if i get it off or not we'll see it's not a very fun spot and truthfully i don't think i have a socket that big so we'll see hey youtube so this is actually the next day now uh i didn't record anything last night because it really went downhill pretty quick so this is all done i just finished that up wired that uh thermostat is in which i think i showed you guys i couldn't get that thing to freaking seal up last night that upper radiator hose going onto it it just kept leaking so that took forever got that done and then my lower uh filter down here it uh freaking oh, i don't have it anymore but the filter you guys saw the filter that i showed you and the uh top part of it broke off in there so i had to try and get that out and yeah it just it ended up being like 10 o'clock by the time i finally got home so yeah there's that and then i do have this wired up a gauge here which is kind of hidden it's behind the edge but like i said i'm gonna get a pillar gauge here uh i'll show you guys this is a tomax which is interesting not a glow shift i just i didn't even pay attention when i bought it i thought it was a glow shift but it's not Let's see if you can do that and there's zero right now because i just filled up the radiator a little bit but yeah i mean it looks nice and that's all i really need it for get it in the a pillar and yeah do that but my edge is probably not gonna like that being shut off now so yeah there's that so i think that's gonna end the video now sorry i was just thinking and the dinging is really annoying but she's dirty real dirty but thanks for watching uh please subscribe and leave a thumbs up